Hello and welcome to today's video. So just kind of a quick update uh, what I've been working on. So on the workbench today we've got the uh, Nissan Leaf BMS. This is my modified unit that I've replaced the microcontroller with my own. Um, I've also bypassed <laughs> the majority of the uh, monitoring and balancing chips for use with my um, eight module uh, test battery pack that's down here in the basement. Um, the, the thing that I've been working on is a CAN bootloader. I want to be able to update the firmware on this micro from a remote unit, say like the Pack Sniffer 2, from its micro SD card. So, um, yeah, that's that's what I've been working on. I've been writing a CAN bootloader for it. So all this mess that you see here is uh, the Pack Sniffer 2 is hooked up, goes through this connector here, goes around into the BMS, so we're getting power in CAN bus uh, through that connector. These clip leads are running off over to my uh, Cavasar. Got that running so that you can see the CAN messages coming across. And it um, doesn't quite work yet, but um, eh, it's working enough that I can kind of show you what the concept is. So we'll go ahead and plug this guy in so it boots up. Hopefully, it's going to be easy to see. Uh, I still have the plastic on. on yeah, so it's going to be kind of hard to read. But essentially what it did, uh, the, the code that's running in it right now just bypasses everything. It just boots up, and it says on there that it's a uh, CAN1. It's connected to the LCD uh, address 700, and we're waiting for data. So this is waiting for data to update the display, but it also is waiting for um, uh, messages for the SD card. So it's doing both. Um, so go ahead and let's turn on the... Cavasar here. Oh, I was already recording. And we'll just tell. Oh, yeah. Um, because it's powered from that, I my debugger stopped. So we'll go ahead and download the code to it again and restart that. While it's doing that, I'll sit here and talk. So if we watch the display here, let's see if I can get it somewhere where you can read it. Eh, kind of. Maybe if I turn the light off. Is that better? Yeah, a little bit. So, it's programming, almost done. So there, see, it went in flash, it found the SD card, and then it gives me the file system error, drive not ready. Now all those LCD display messages came from this microcontroller. So my goal is, when you plug the micro SD card in, uh, in the config system, you'll be able to say, yeah, remote bootload devices and give it the address because I don't want this micro on here to have to know how uh, these are two different microcontrollers this is the uh, EP series and this is the EV series and they're they're very different uh, this is a 5 volt version this is a 3.3 volt version and it just happened that the Nissan Leaf BMS was 5 volts so I need to use a different micro otherwise I'd use the same on all of them so it's got different memory ranges different type of um, I mean this one's a lot easier it's got auxiliary flash for your bootloader and then a primary flash whereas this one you just kind of have to set where that boundary is and then it there's a reset vector and you can only have certain pages and it's it, it's it's more of a pain so rather than having that microcontroller have to know how this one's memory is and everything we just let this guy take care of himself and so it can it can scan through all of its flash calculate its checksum uh, read in the micro SD card calculate the checksum on that compare the two if they're different, then we'll go ahead and download everything and update our flash. So pretty simple. It's essentially the same as what this guy does, just remotely over CAN. So <laughs> the problem, uh, this is all the CAN data that went across. Let me scroll back up to the top here. So um, you can see these messages. This is all address 700. The airframes is when the guys were booting up. And uh, CAN bus is in an illegal state. But uh, yeah, we sent over, this is like the first line command on the LCD. So go to the first line and then it acknowledged saying I wrote one byte to the uh, to the display. And then this this one was the, uh, the splash screen. Then it responded with, hey, I uh, wrote eight bytes to the display. And then it, these are all the ASCII characters. And then it responds, I wrote eight to the display. And then it asks for the second line responds with one byte written, and then the second line, same thing. 
And then after all that, we start trying to access the SD card and you can kind of see my responses are always one zero. And that's not what actually goes into the CAN buffer. So I'm not 100% sure why. So this is the request is that 83FF is what was sent out by uh, this micro. And then it went to the SD card, got put out in the SPI bus, and then it gets a response of the 0100 every time. There's something messed up, and I think it's because I'm using both 700 as the source and destination address, and the data length is two for both of them, and I think that messes it up. Um, I don't know, because over here, the source and destination are the same address, but by length of one, that worked. So I don't know. I need to look into it, but it's definitely something messed up. So I need to figure out what's going on. I don't, I don't think it's on this end. I think it's on this end, but at least the error messages are showing up and it's popping up that <laughs> obviously something's not right. Um, so yeah, that, that part's working. So that's, that's, that's where I'm at on this. I'll uh, probably this weekend I'll, I'll work some more on it. Um, and then in other news, I've got, uh, I got in a bunch of boards. I ordered some more uh, PCBs, so I made up a bunch of the uh, 2011 leaf plugs. These came out really nice. So this is like Rev A, or Rev B of the, of the prototype one. Um, if you watched, I don't know, it was a few videos ago, I showed the 3D printed one for the uh, Gen 1 leaf packs, and I had flipped. It was a mirror image, so I corrected that on these. Also added some aids. Uh, you can see there's little um, circles that <laughs> tell you which pins need to be pop populated because you, you plug in all the pins from this side. So it's nice to have the little circles that tell you which ones you actually need. And then on the back, I've got uh, the actual description of what they do. So these came out pretty nice. I like them. They fit perfectly in there. And uh, yeah, so I've got, I can build these up. Oh, and then to align the pins, because, you know, when you're building them, uh, I just do this. I just use another board. I stack a couple of them on top like that. And they line up. That keeps all your pins in the line, so you can just go through and solder them. And then I just put the wire in the hole, right? And then solder it. So they're just kind of like tacked in there at the edges right now. But when I put the wire in, then they'll be fully soldered in. But yeah, these came out really nice. I think I'm going to do this for the um, for the uh, Gen 2 pack connector as well. Because these are a lot easier to make than, than having to crimp all the pins. And then put all the little DuPont... Essentially crimp the pins on the wires, put the DuPont uh, pins into the DuPont connectors, and then glue the DuPont connectors into the 3D printed assembly, the connector. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is this is the way to go. Um, and, and these are uh, Mini Fit Junior p pins, and you see how they got the little little teeth on here. So the the parts they go into the 3D printed part, when that squishes in there, it pushes in there. These guys bite in. It's not coming back out. So I like it. I think uh, I think that's a good design. Quite happy with that. So yeah, those came in and. I know I'm out of packs and for twos. People keep emailing me, telling me, hey, you're out. I know. I sold out of them. So I ordered a bunch of boards. We've got uh, 12 boards here, uh, hot off the press. Uh, they, they, they came in with, uh, with these guys. And uh, all the parts have come in. So I only ordered parts to build up three. But, um, you know, I got three everything here. Uh, I've got three displays. So everything's ready to go. I'll go ahead and build up those guys, and um, yeah, <laughs> I'd order more. I build up, I tend to build them up three at a time because it's. I mean, this is um, yeah, this is like three hundred dollars worth of parts. <laughs> so yeah, if I build up like, there's twelve boards here. If I were to build up all of them, you know, there'd be quite a bit more. But um, I, I three at a time is nice because then I can kind of keep 
some in stock and then when I get down to one I'll order another three kind of a thing but uh, yeah anyways um yeah just quick update on uh, on everything that's going on but uh, yeah thanks for watching I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be really happy once this uh, once the can boot loader I got to figure that out and then um, we'll be in business I think it's just something really simple because once that's fixed then uh, it'll go a lot more smoothly um, then the next step is the figuring out um, you know how much my bootloader is going to take up and then set the boundary and um, and everything and uh, yeah uh, the applications already written for this so this already does it uh, the only other thing I want to do is I do have all the parts I need to populate the um, the section in here to get um, uh, all the IO on this connector and that will allow the BMS to control the contactors directly so I don't have to have a bunch of packs for two. So I can just have one in there to do all the display and handle updating everything else in the in the truck. But I do want each each um, BMS to control its own contactors and read its own current sensors and just do everything locally. Um, this one BMS here will control two battery packs, and there'll be four battery packs in total in the truck. Although I could technically get five in there. I don't know. We might go to five, and then if I have five in there, then then I'm up to three of these units. So yeah, that's why I want the can bootloader. <laughs> I can just update all of them at once. Just boom, boom, boom. It'd be nice. But uh, yeah, and I'll, the config system on here will just control everything. And uh, yeah, it, it'll be nice once it's done. Just you know, bear with me. Take some more time. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.